guys, this is Heidi from Sky Poodles and Doodles, and this is Gus. Gus is an almost four month old Labradoodle. He is from one of my litters that I have. Um, he's cute. I wanted to do a video of puppy brushing. Now, he's been brushed and dried and bathed since he was four weeks old just because I'm a groomer. And so, but just because he's done that doesn't mean that he's going to be a perfect puppy to brush. So I wanted to show you how to get brushing started on your doodles. Um, brushing is really important. They're going to hate it and they don't like it and they're not going to sit there and stand like a statue for them for you to brush them. Um, but you have to do it so that and then eventually they'll get more used to it and maybe they'll stand like a statue for you eventually. Okay, so whenever I start my dogs, I talked about in my last video about the pattern. So we'll continue even with him as a puppy to start with the back leg and then work one side and then work the other side. Um, he's gonna wiggle around. I have him in the strap just uh, for video purposes. But if you can, again, stand him up on your coffee table, something so he knows he can't get away. Um, so I have my coral brush here and then again my metal comb and these are the two brushes you'll use. So he's had the best family ever that keep him brushed really well and he's, he's used to it but again he doesn't like it. So um, I'll start with back leg and then come down see he doesn't like it so he's wiggly. I hold them here on this haunch right here and then brush and it will kind of keep him still so you can brush him a little bit and he's acting like he's gonna die. And you brush, you brush the outside and the inside all around. Make sure you get the mats. And then again up. See how I'm kinda, I have my hand under holding his leg. And he doesn't have any mats. So nothing is pulling on him. And then he's very dramatic. And then just keep holding his leg still so he knows he can't go anywhere. Brush up. They still have that soft puppy coat, so it will be really easy to brush them just because it's soft. Also, get under. Teach them how. You're going to lift their leg. He doesn't like it. You're going to lift their leg and brush on the other side. See? And he'll sit still. You just keep moving him back. Stop. Gus. No. Brush it down. No, Gus. No. And then again, when you have your leg and if he fights you, do not give him back that leg. Even if you have to put your brush down and hold it and relax the leg, but don't give him back the leg because then he'll know, he'll know that he can win that battle. So even if I have to stop and have him just calm down, he's so dramatic. Stop, Gus. See, and I can get his leg brushed even though he doesn't like it and he wants to fight me. Eventually he'll learn that he can't fight me so much. Stop. And then lift his leg and get the inside of the leg. Stop, Gus. No. Oh goodness. Hey, stop. You're fine. Good boy. Get under the belly. Hey. Good boy. And the feet. Labradoodles hate any doodles. Hate their feet being messed with just because that's where mostly they get the mats and stuff in their toes. So if you can get them used to it, brush their feet out just to get them used to the stuff on their feet. And then I go with my comb and go around and brush them through. He doesn't mind this so much. Look at him being a big baby. And then the same thing, so that's a side, and the same thing with the head. Um, hold his head, just sit, stop, just like this, not hard but just so he knows that you have it and kind of brush up away from his eyes so you don't get the brush in his eyes and then down, stop, Gus, stop, no, good boy, good boy, under his chin, Gus, stop, no, and then behind his ears, kind of fold his ear over like that and just brush. And it's so easy to brush it just because they still have that soft coat. So, I mean, if you do this, it'll go really fast and then he'll be used to it and it won't get so bad. Doodles take a lot of grooming care. So if you want your doodle to have the best coat as possible, it's going to take a lot on your part to help him take care of that coat. So you want to make sure that when you have your puppy, 
They're used, see how he's kind of just sitting there for me now? They're used to it. And he'll get used to it and he'll know that, that he doesn't have another option but to sit there and get brushed. So, he does. He look at him doing so good. Look at you doing so good. Yes, you are. And then just the back leg. And see, even if he wants to cuddle with me in the front, sometimes they feel better when they're up against you. So just grab their back leg like this and do the other side. And then that will make them feel more comfortable too being brushed. And then on the inside. Oh, in the front, right under there, under there, right here, you get them and you lift up. They don't like it. So, but you still gotta get it because that's where they get the most mats. But he'll learn. And see, I lift up his leg and brush under. See, I have my brush going. You're fine. You're fine. And then I'll just work around them and get that all brushed. Um, so that's my puppy video for brushing. Be sure to visit our Facebook page, Sky Poodles and Doodles. We'll see you guys later.